In this video, you are going to see some amazing features of Motorola Edge 40 Neo. These features are supported for almost all Motorola mobiles. Don't think that these are only for Edge 40 Neo. This option is useful if your mobile is in silent mode. Open settings and choose personalize. Here select the edge light. You can adjust more settings here like light color for what this light should be shown and some more other options. If you come back there are some more settings you can customize of your mobile like text, display size, layout, themes etc. This option is useful to prevent the grain from flickering in dark environments. To enable this open settings then select the display option. Here scroll down and choose flicker prevention. This is a great option if you use your mobile most of the time in a darker environment. The secure folder option is also available on Motorola mobiles. I already made it a dedicated video on how to create a secure folder from scratch. If in case you missed it or if you want to know in depth, check out the video links in the description box for more details. With the secure folder, you can hide the photos, videos, documents or even apps also. I have seen this feature in Samsung mobiles after that I saw in this one. This is also a great feature if you want more privacy. This feature is useful if you have an Android TV in your home. It's like connecting your mobile to an external monitor or display and using it as a personal computer. I highly recommend you enable this feature in every single Android mobile you use. This option helps to save the notifications that comes to your mobile. To enable this, open settings on your mobile and choose notifications. From here, select the notification history and turn it on. So from now onwards, your mobile is ready to save the notifications. This feature is so handy for multitaskers. Open settings on your mobile and select the gesture option. From here, select the sidebar. Now. Turn it on. You can customize the apps here in case you want by clicking the settings icon. Even if you want to open all applications at once by clicking this button. This option is useful if you use two screens at a time. Also called split screen in your mobile. Open settings on your mobile and select the gestures option. From here select the swipe to split. You need to swipe like this to enable this option. Now I'm going to share some settings that are related to battery and charging in Motorola mobiles. The first option is optimized charging. To enable this open settings and select the battery option. Here scroll down and select the optimized charging. This feature is helpful to charge your mobile more efficiently by keeping your mobile battery very healthy. It takes some time to analyze your charging pattern and optimizes it accordingly. The next feature is overcharging protection. This option is useful for people who charge their mobile while they are going to bed and remove it in the morning time. To enable this, open settings and choose the battery. From here, select the overcharge protection and turn it on. This feature is by default turned on. If in case you turn it off, again you need to turn on this. This feature is useful to limit the battery usage for particular apps that you don't use very often. So the battery backup will be more. To check or enable this option, open settings in your mobile, choose battery, then select the adaptive battery. That's all. The 
This feature is very useful if you use your mobile in dark conditions or no light situations. Even though if you decrease the screen brightness to 0%, you still see a brighter screen in darker environments. If you want to decrease even more brightness than 0%, this option is very useful for you. Open settings and choose the accessibility. From here, you can see the option extra dim. Now you enable it. That's all. This feature is useful if you connect your mobile phone to open and public Wi-Fi very often. With this feature, you get notified if anything is going wrong in your mobile phone. To enable this, open settings, then select the security and privacy option. From here, select the more security option. Here, you see the option network protection. Click on it and enable it for what you need the protection. That's all. This option is useful if you visit any risky websites. To enable this, go to the same options like before I told. First go to settings, then choose the privacy and security, then click on more security settings and scroll down to see this option phishing detection. Now turn it on, that's all, you don't need to do anything apart from this. Most of the mobiles comes with a sufficient amount of RAM. If in case you want more, this option is useful. To enable this, open setting in your mobile phone. Scroll down to the last and select the system option. Here, select the performance, then choose the RAM boost. Now turn it on. You need to restart your mobile if you apply the changes. Basically, this feature uses the internal storage of your mobile phone and turns into the virtual RAM. I organize things on my mobile phone and even in everyday life. If you want, you can organize the mobile applications in your Motorola mobile too. To do this, open apps in your mobile, then select the three dots on the top right side and choose create folder. Now give a name to the folder and select the apps that you want to. After that, click on the done on the bottom side. That's all. This is how you can organize the apps on your mobile phone. This feature is useful if you are having children in your home and use your mobile most of the time. In the apps, you find this family space. Click on it and create a space. Choose the apps that you want. Also, you need to give the name for your space. After that, give the remaining settings and even you can set a timer or password if you want. Finally, click on done. Whenever you start this family space, you will get a screen that shows how much time anyone can spend in this space. It shows only the apps that you added while creating this space. You cannot see even the phone application too. If you want to get out from this, click on this option and you need to give the password to get out from this. This feature is more reliable than screen pinning. Not only this, but some other options are available like Chop Chop to turn on the flash, Gift Maker with screen recording, Moto Unplug and more. I shared the options that are mostly useful for majority of the people. Also, I posted some other videos apart from this. If you want, you can check the description box to know more features of the Motorola Mobile.